You know, I always emphasize this because I know how important is it. Yeah? I know how important it is when we fellowship together. Why, the reason why we come here is so that we can be able to fellowship. Na fellowship uwezi kuwa ni ya mtu moja tu peke yake akiwa naongea. Inakuanga lasima kuna mtu ambaye anakuwa involved. Wewe na mimi tunakuwa involved. Kwa hivyo ukiingia katika nyumba ya Bwana, tafadhali hata kama ulikuwa unasikia umeshushwa na uko chini kabisa, jaribu kushangamuka kidogo. And by the time you leave the, that door, na kuambia your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Msalimie tena. Mpatie hiyo meno ya 37. Ile ya 37. Yeah. Muonyeshe tu ya kwamba you love them, you care for them. Amen. Tunaweza keti. Thank you so much. We thank God for today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to, we will rejoice in it. Now we will be glad. Amen. Tuwa shukuru buwana kwa siku ya leo kwa kupata nafasi ya kuwa maali hapa. Asa mimi niko na fly ya kwamba nimepata nafasi ya kusimama mbere yenu. Ili nikawese kuleta neno la buwana. Kumbuka ya kwamba chochote kiri ambacho tunapipo kisema maali hapa. Ya kwamba mawaso yetu tunaomba ya kwamba ya kaweza kuongoswa na loa buwana. Na natuelekeza katika yale angetaka tukaweza kuyasema. Nikinukulu ni kile ambacho pasta jeni huwa anasema ni kwamba. Anything that you get from this platform, this altar. I know sometimes we may come here expecting that. Kuna vitu ambaso utaona, kuna sarakasi labda utaona, kuna mamu ambayo labda uta, 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 uta weza kuona ikiwa tofauti, labda maari ambapo, unaweza kuwa umetoka maari fulani, umeona sarakasi fulani uwa sinafanyika maari pale, ama mambo fulani uwa inafanyika maari pale. Lakini kitu ambacho uwa tunaemphasize hapa, ni kwamba unapokuja maari hapa, jua ya kwamba umekuja kufundishwa, na kufundishwa neno la mungu. Amen. Asubuhi ya leo tulipokuwa Bible standard tulikuwa tunaongea juu ya swali liulizwa utajuaje yule yale maubiri ambayo ni ya ukweli na yale sio ya ukweli. Na jinsi tu ya vile unaweza kujua ni kama kuka kama the Bereans. Ya kwamba unaposikiza neno mahali hapa hautasikiza tu uende nyumbani na ufunge Biblia na ukongojee mpaka the next Sunday. You have an, an opportunity to interact with that one. Na kuwakikisha ya kwamba, kile ambacho kimefundishwa pale, kinaambatana na neno la mungu. Amen? Kama sio hivyo, basi inaonekana kuna kitu ambacho utakuwa unakosa katika maisha yako ya kiu kristo. Siku ya leo, ningetaka tukaweza kuongea kiu ya jambo fulani ambalo la muhimu sana katika maisha yetu, Na naamini ya kwamba kila moja wetu huwa na huwa, tuko na hiyo tamanio. Na getaka ku achieve something in life. We all desire to achieve. We all desire that we'll accomplish something in our lives. But there are things that we have to do for last to reach to that point. Kuna mambo ambayo tunasairi kuyafanya ili tukaweze kufikia uh, lengo letu ama matarajio ambayo tungetaka tukaweze kuyapata katika maisha haya ambayo tuko nayo na siku ya leo ningetaka tuongee juu ya kitu tunaita focus being staying focused staying focused na ningetaka kusema ya kwamba kabla tujaongea juu ya kuwa focused kabla tujaongea juu ya kuwa Focus. Kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo tungetaka kuangalia ambayo itatusaindia kujiuliza maswali. Kama tuko tayari kuwa focused kwa yale ambayo tungetaka kutimisha katika maisha yetu. Na I want to start by saying that in the understanding gift there are things that we all of us have Na kile, kuna yale ambayo tumepewa na mungu, na kuna yale ambayo huwa tuna, uh, we, 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 uh, like the gifts and the talents that God has given us. 
we are able to work uh, towards them and we can be able to improve them as time goes by. So there are gifts God has given us and there are talents that we can be able to improve so that we can be able to, uh, to, be fo- uh, to, to, to get focused in life. In understanding gifts and talents, we recognize they are distinct yet intertwined. Gifts and talents. They are distinct, but they are also intertwined. And as perfect as our abilities, gifts are often seen as innate. Kitu ambacho tunayeza sema, gifts ni kama vitu zile ambacho tunayeza sema ya kwamba kulisariwa nazo. Nasa sikia mtu wakisema ya kwamba mimi, iki, iki ni kipawa nilipewa na mungu. Nilisariwa nikiwa na kipawa fulani katika maisha yangu. So, gifts, they are, we can say that they are in it. The seed of potential sown within us at birth. These abilities come more effortless and conscious effort to, ma- to manifest. They encompass a wide range of aptitudes. And from intellectual to creativity and also physical. Najua hapo nikisema nianze kutafsiri kwa Kiswahili nitajiuma urimi. Kwa hivyo tafadhali kwa yule ambaye hakuelewa hiyo ni wewe haladhi kwa sababu kuna mambo mengine ambayo sitaki kuyasema nikiwa hapa. So, gifts we will say that there are things that we are born with. Unaweza sema ni kitu ambacho nimesaliwa nacho na umekuwa nacho. Ni kitu ambacho umekuwa nacho. There are things that you can be you, you can be able to easily do without much effort. And when we come to talent, when we come to talent, there are skills and competencies that we cultivate over time. While they may have they may have some innate predispositions, they necessitate practice and dedication to reach their full potential. So, talents Remember, the gifts that you have, there are some of them that you need to work on that will lead to you to get your talent. And for you to be able to do that, it will take some time. It's over time. As you practice them, as you practice them, you will reach to that potential. Talents could be compared to the skills of a master, craft person, Honed through continuous effort. They include playing a musical instrument. Like, I remember that time when our brother Vincent was starting to play this uh, drum set. He didn't have all the skills. But look at him today. Because of his continuous practice, he has perfected his skills. And today, we have a good dramatist. Amen? The same case to the other people who lead us here. They have perfected their skills through through time. As time goes by, as they continue to practice, they have been able to to sharpen their skills. Uh, The other thing is, like somebody who speaks uh, different languages. Let's say, for instance, you can be able to speak Kikuyu, Kigeresa, Kiswahiri, Hizo ni zile tunajua haya. Unasikia mtu mwingine anaweza shika ya kijaruo pale, anaweza ki Spanish, ki Germany, eh, ki Latin. Kuna kitu ambacho Mungu amempea ya kuweza kushika hayo mambo yote kwa wakati mmoja. These two facets of abilities are part of our individual journey. Each with its unique place gives us as the foundation upon which we build our abilities. The core talent that flows naturally, the core talent that flows naturally from our inner selves. Talents, on the other hand, are like the artist's hand that shapes the, lo- the, the raw materials of our gift into refined and remarkable forms. So, the gifts and the talents that God has given us, what we are seeing is that 
Though we may have gift. Yes, you may say that you have a gift. That, but you need to work on that gift. You cannot sit down there and say, because now I'm a musician, let, I, will sing, I will sing while I'm sitting. Eh? Mimi hakuna kwenda practice. Mimi ni diumbo ni kiuwa muimbaji. Kwa hivi hata ni kiketi pale tu, ni kiimba tu atajua ya kwamba mimi ni mui, ni muimbaji. Kimadhi hapa, awezi sema ya kwamba, ye ya kishika nkita, anapiga hile ya mukamba. Na hakuna kupractice, haitha wesekana. Lasima, akuje, afanya practice, ndi afanya nini? Awezi kupafecti sile skeo sake sa, sa kupiga nkita. Kwa hivyo, lasima kama ni kipawa, ama ni talent, even, even though it's going to be a gift or a talent, you have to work on it. Amen? That they emphasize. Ya kwamba, chochote kiri ambacho, tuko nacho. Either iwe ni talent, ama iwe ni gift, lasma tuifanyie kazi, ili tukawese, ikawese, pumarika, na ikawese, kuwa ya faida saidi. Ama ikawese kuwa, na Na it becomes more perfected. Let me use that. You have to work on it so that it, it is going to be more perfect. Amen? Na hata katika Bibiria, kuna watu katha ambao, tunaweza sema ya kwamba, tuna, uh, um, in the Bible we can be able to see uh, uh, the verses that talks about guilt in talents. Romans 12 verse 6 to 8. Romans 12 verse 6 to 8 in Asema. It, it reminds us, it reminds us of the divine gifts encourage us to use them for the benefit of the community. Each gift serves a unique purpose from prophecy to teaching, from service to leadership. So, Romans 12 6 to 8, it asks it, it, it's talking about the gift that God has given us to serve others. Amen? So, they are unique gifts that God has given each and every one of us and we can use those gifts so that we can be able to serve others. First Peter, First Peter 4, verse 10 to 11, as it, in a, it reinforces the idea of serving others with our gift. The faithful stewards of God's grace. It is a reminder that the purposes of our abilities is to bring glory to God and benefiting humanity. So, what we are seeing here is that the gifts that God has given us, it's not just for us. It is to serve others. I'm just mentioning the verses so you can be able to go and read them because uh, we want to save time. And also in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 25, it talks about the parables. The parables of the talents. I believe all of us, we can remember what Pastor Joel was teaching us about these talents. And uh, it underlines the importance of using the abilities wisely and actively multiplying them for greater impact. You remember what the pastor was saying is that the talent that we have given, God is expecting us that we will be able to multiply it. You remember the five gifts? It was the five? Then, eh? Wanafunzi wa kwapi? Wanafunzi wa suri. Five gifts? Huyo mingine alikuwa mepewa ngapi? Two. Na huyo mingine? Moja. I hope you are not the one who was given one and alienda akaifisha. Alafu akarundishia mwenyewe akamwambia wewe shika ile ambayo ulinipea. Yeah? Remember whatever we are saying is that anything that God has given you is to serve others. Amen. And then uh 1 Corinthians 12 uh 12 verse 4 to 11 it talks about the distribution of spiritual gift for the common good and of the community. Highlighting the variety of gifts and how they can contribute to the harmonious whole. Amen? So the gifts that God has given us, if you look at them, majority, all of them, actually, they are to serve others. 
So God expects us that whatever he has given us, kile ambacho Mungu ametupea, kipawa ambacho umepewa, talanta ambayo uko nayo, ni ya kuweza kuhudumia wengine. As we reflect on these biblical teachings, we also find inspiration in examples of biblical figures who harnessed their gifts and talents to fulfill their divine purpose. And these people are like King David. If you look at the life of David, David was just a shepherd. In fact, if you look at his life, is that even his father, Baba yake mwenye hata kuwa na tarajia kijana awe mtu yote. Kwa sababu tunakumbuka wakati Samuel alienda mahali pale akitaka kumwagia mafuta, akimwagia mafuta asai yeye, babake alikuwa na jambo tofauti, alikuwa anajua vijana wake hao wakubwa ndio walikuwa wanafaa. Na kuwa David ndiye akuwa mahali pale. Na alikuwa yeye ako malishoni mpaka e, mafuto ilipokataa kutoka. Diposa babake akagu, eh, na kuna kijana kingine na kuanga nako kaka huko kwa malisho. Akaambiwa huyo endo mwite. Na tunaona kutoka wakati Daudi alipopako mafuta maisha yake ilibandilika kutoka mahali pale. Na tunaona ma, maisha yake ikiweza kubandilika wakati alipoenda katika hekaru na kukaa pamoja na so aliweza kuwa mtu tofauti kabisa. Na David kue, die ameandika eh, vitabu za Sam mingi saidi ya watu wengine wote. Na saidi ya hiyo Daudi tuna tunamjua akiwa mtu ambaye alikuwa ondali kwa vita. Amen. Kwa hivyo hakuwa ni mtu tu wa uh, kuimba kwa sababu so wakati alikuwa uh, when the, 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 the spirit of God when it comes to disturb so uh, Daudi ndiye alikuwa anamwimbia. Kwa hivyo tunamjua akiwa mwimbaji mzuri sana ambaye alikuwa akishika ile gitaa alikuwa anaipiga vizuri mpaka so roho yake inatulia. Lakini hakuwa mwimbaji tu peke yake. Tunaambiwa ya kwamba alikuwa na other skills, alikuwa na other talents ambazo aliweza kutumia. Uh, kuandika the, the book of uh, songs of life, um, yes, the the, 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 the book of uh, Psalms. He is the one who wrote majority of the books of uh, the, the book of Psalm. Ye ndi ameandika. Kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba alikuwa na vitu uh, uh, na talanta tofauti ambazo aliweza kutumia mtu mwingine ambao tungeweza kutaka kuangalia juu yake ni mtu ambaye ambaye anaitwa Josephu. Josephu anaitwa kama Josephu. Josephu Josephu whichever. Josephu alikuwa pia ni mtu ambaye alikuwa amepewa aliku, Mungu alimpatia kipawa cha kuweza kutafsiri eh, dreams. Alikuwa mtu ambaye anaweza kutafsiri dreams. Aliweza kutafsiri eh, sile dreams ha? dreams ni itwaje kwa Kiswahili ndoto ndoto eh ndoto kwa hivyo aliweza kutafsiri ndoto ya wale watu ambao walikuwa nao pale njera na baada ya kutafsiri akaambia yule mtu wakati alitoka akamwambia na no, unikumbuke unapotoka pale nje unikumbuke unikumbuke lakini jamaa alipotoka yeye alijua ya kwamba sasa fulani mi akamsahau lakini kwa wakati wa Mungu kwa wakati wa Mungu aliweza kukumbuka ya kwamba kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa njela na alikuwa anajua kutafsiri ndoto baada ya king kuwa na ndoto ambayo hakuna yeyote angeweza kutafsiri na pale tunaona Joseph akitoka njela na baada ya kutoka pale alipewa jukumu kubwa sana na kwa nini kwa sababu kile ambacho alielesea mfalume mfalume aliona mtu ambaye alikuwa na kitu cha muhimu sana na akamwambia hakuna mwingine ambaye anayeweza kufanya kile ambacho unasema isipokuwa ni wewe. Kwa hivyo tunaona aliweza kuwa mtu ambaye aliweza kufanya mambo ikaweza kubandilika katika ile nchi kwa sababu ya kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa ameweka ndani yake. Debora Debora alikuwa mwanamke ambaye wakati wake alisimama na akawa kama mwanajeshi. Aliweza kupigana vita kuliko wale wanaume walikuwa mahali pale aliongoza jeshi kwenda kupigana isipokuwa yeye alikuwa mwanamke lakini tunaambiwa kwamba kuna kile ambacho kilikuwa ndani yake na kiliweza aliweza kuchochea na kikaweza kuongoza jeshi na kwenda kupigana kwe, eh, na maadui wa Israeli nao 
The other person that we can talk about is Peter. Peter, how we know Peter is that he was a fisherman. Na mtu ambaye ni wa kuteka samaki, wale ambao wanatoka Kisumu tunajua ya kwamba wanajua mambo ya kuteka samaki. Kwa hivyo samaki inateka kwa lini? Si ni usiku. Lakini Peter, Yesu anakuja na mwambia ya kwamba aende akateke samaki mchana. Na baada ya kumwambia akateke samaki mchana, hakukataa kwa sababu alikuwa anajua mbaya naye mwambia akona uh, akona authority kubwa kuliko ye. Kwa hivyo aliamua atafanya kile. Kwa hivyo out of a fisherman tunaona kubandilishwa kwa, eh, kwa Peter akawa the fishers of men. Kwa sababu wakati walipoingia katika hekaru na wakaenda kuhubiri mahali pale tunaambiwa watu saidi ya elfu ngapi? Elfu tatu, waliweza kuokoka. Lakini Peter tunajua ya kwamba siku za mwanzo mwanzo alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anamkataa Yesu. Alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alimkana mara tatu alimkana sikujui simujui huyu hata sijawahi kumsikia lakini kwa wakati wa Mungu aliweza kubandilika na akaweza kutumika kwa njia kuu sana katika ufalme wa Mungu mtu mwingine ambaye tunaweza sema mambo yake ni mtu ambaye anaitwa Paul Paul was a prosecutor yeye alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ni kumalisa malisa mambo ya, 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 ya kanisa yeye hakuwa anataka mambo ya kanisa kwa sababu alikuwa mele, alikuwa amefundishwa masomo yake po alikuwa msomi ambaye alikuwa na masomo ya juu ya yeah? alikuwa anajua sheria kiverenge sheria alikuwa anaijua au ukijempeleka kwa, 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 kwa mambo ya tora na nini ya yeah, alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa amepita hiyo yote kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba baada ya conversion yake Mungu alibandilisha kile ambacho alikuwa nacho e, ile seal alikuwa naye ya kufanya kazi e, against the church aliweza kuitumia na ikaweza kuwa ya kufaindi kanisa na kwa hivyo vitabu mingi ambazo tunazo soma katika biblia paulo yeye ndiye aliyeandika now i want us to come now to the main topic today I was just passing by hiyo kuelezea juu yake ili tukaweze kuwa na basic ya kuelewa when we talk about focus what is it that we are focusing on ni nini tutaenda kuangalia ni nini ambayo tunaweza sema ya kwamba we want to focus on I, there was this i remember there was this man eh alikuwa there was a king first there was a king a king had a daughter and I believe nimeshawa hii ongea hapa tena a king had a daughter na ikafika wakati huyu daughter wake alikuwa aolewe na watu wakaitwa akaambiwa sasa the king the daughter of the king anataka ku kuolewa kwa hivyo vijana wakajitokesa akina devi hapa wote wako pale eh yeah? sisi tuna huyo huyo msichana the king akasema i want to give you a challenge and whoever will be able to do this yeye ndiye atafanya nini atachukua msichana wangu kwa hivyo wote wakaitwa siku moja wakaenda mahali pale king akawaambia sawa mmekuja tujeni hapa wakaenda wakapelekwa waka katika kidimbwi cha maji lakini cha kuchangaza ni kwamba katika yale maji kulikuwa na crocodiles siku siku mahali pale wakaambiwa sasa yoyote atakaye eh ongelea kutoka hapa mpaka pande ile Avuke vizuri huyo ndiye atachukua huyo msichana eh hati kwa hii hakuna yule alidhibutu wote wakaanza kuangaliana wakaanza kuangaliana nani ataingia lakini wakiwa pale wakiwa wanaangaliana wakitafuta ni nani ataingia walisikia tu kwa maji jamaa ndio huyo paka pande ile nyingine akavuka pande ile Hey, king wote wakaangalia watu wakaanza kuchangilia hey devi ameshinda devi yeye mambo ya kushinda iko kwa akili yake kitu kile anauliza nani andilirusha hapa mimi nataka kujua ni nani andilirusha kwa sababu hakuna hata yeye mwenyewe wakuwa na so there was effort what was he focusing on 
ya kwamba asipofanya hivyo atakuwa chakula ya the crocodile so he had to do whatever he had to do to get out of the water na alijipata amefika pande labda ungemwambia ogerehe angejua ya kwamba angeweza kuogelea hivyo lakini aliweza kufika pande ile nyingine so what is it that we are saying is that there are things that we have to focus on there are things that we have to put our effort so that we can be able to achieve in life amen so what is focus the definition of focus is their the ability it is the ability just know that it is the ability to direct your attention and energy and effort on a specific task goal or objective while minimizing distractions and unlatent a thought tumeza kushika hiyo it is the ability to direct our attention energy and effort on a specific task goal or objective while minimizing distractions and unlatent thoughts it involves it involves dedicating our mental and physical resources to a particular purpose so focus is a cognitive uh, skill that can be developed and improved through practice and effort and what we are saying is that just like any other skill just like any other skill such as playing music instrument learning a new language or improving your athletic uh, abilities focus can be cultivated and improved over time. i hope we have gotten that ya kwamba focus focus kwa kiswahili waswahili wako wapi waswahili wako wapi ni lengo natafuta kuna ile ambayo nilikuwa is it ni lengo ama ni tutaipata tutaipata wakati huu kwa hivyo nikumaanisha ya kwamba kile ambacho tungetaka kufanya katika maisha yetu lazima kuwe kuna nguvu fulani ama lengo fulani ambalo tutaweza kuwa tutaangalia ili tukaweze kufanikiwa katika maisha ili tukaweze kufanyia kasi talanta ama vipawa ambazo Mungu ameweka ndani yetu lazima kuwe kuna mahali ambapo tutalenga ndio wewe uweze kuwa a good musician lazima kuwe kuna lengo fulani ambayo utakuwa nayo na lazima uweze ku katika maisha yako kwa hivyo lazima kuwe na e, nguvu fulani ambayo utatumia ili ikaweze kusaidia mahali pale lakini i just want to caution you i just want to put a caution there ya kwamba e, chochote kile ambacho unaweza fanya kwa wingi saidi pia kinakuanga na hatari yake i just want to put a caution there even as we look at this ya kwamba anything that you do iwe ni asaidi ya kiasi ya ambacho kinahitajika huwa iko na masha, iko na madhara yake tuchukue kwa mfano tu tuchukue kwa mfano nilikuwa nasikiza jana Hope FM na kuna huyu kijana ambaye alikuwa ni mchungaji lakini kijana ambaye alikuwa amelelewa katika uh, uh, Egypt vijiji za nitakwa ni the, the, the slums eh? walienda walikuwa wameitwa karamu fulani na kufika pale wakakuta kulikuwa kumepikwa chakula mzuri sana na walikuwa wao walikuwa wameitwa watu wengi lakini walifika wachache kwa hivyo ile chakula ilikuwa imebaki mingi sana ukawa na sausages ukawa vitu mzuri kuku iko mahali pale kwa hivyo walikaa chini wakasema leo ni si ni sisi walianza wakasema sasa kitu kile ambacho hatuonangi huko vijijini ni sausages kwa hivyo tunaanza na sausage vijana walianza kula sausage walipoanza walipoanza ilikuwa ni sausage lakini by the time wanafika kumi na kitu anasema ya kwamba alikuwa anasikia ni kama anakula sponge ya yeah? akiuma anasikia ni kama nini kama sponge kwa hivyo 
kitu ambacho unaweza kukitumia kwa kiasi zaidi ya kile ambacho kinahitajika hata kama kilikuwa kitamu itaanza kuwa mbaya you won't like it so anything that we take in life it has to be in moderation amen kuna kitu ambao wanaitanga tane of vision tane of vision ni kitu ambacho you are concentrating just on one area in life you are saying this is the only area that I, god has called me am i just why am i talking about musicians throughout the day anyway let me go to ashas i'm just an asha yeah and that's the only area that god has called me i'm not going oh i'm just a teacher i cannot do anything else in life i'm just an accountant i cannot do anything else if you just concentrate on that just that line there are other important things that you are going to lose in life so life you have to balance it has to be balanced so turn your vision in a sense it is an excessive focus on a single task or a goal that leads uh, uh, that can lead to turn your vision where you become so fixated this is the word that you use in psychology when you become fixated it is that there are things that you cannot let go umekuwa mtu mkubwa lakini unakutanga yani unakuta mtu mkubwa hapa ndo tu ananyonya kidole you are fixated kuna kitu ambacho katika maisha yako ndio sasa naenda kwa psychology sikutaka kwenda pale acha nirudi hapa tena so you become fixated in some areas ambazo haikusaidii katika maisha lakini unajipata bando hizo vitu unafanya so you need to balance so that you can be able to gain kwa yale mambo ambayo unafanya katika maisha so uh, as we explore our own gifts and talents the focus should be entailed it is crucial to maintain balance focusing on goals and essentials but we must also remember that essential elements of the life including lest i don't know this is the area that majority of us sometimes we we don't uh we don't we don't we don't uh, look at them tunaonanga tu hii ni kitu ambao tunastahili kufanya but lest is something very important for you to be able to function well lazima uwe na wakati wa kupumzika iwe ni kazi ambayo unaifanya lazima ujipe wakati wa kupumzika Najua hapa Kenya uh, tuna tunajuanga ni ukiingia kasi unaingianga saa mbili na kutoka ni 5 na hiyo 5 sio guarantee inaendelea mpaka 6 ama 7 yeah mdosi anasema target lazima utimishe lakini kuna mahali ambapo tunajua ya kwamba ukifanya kazi mpaka masaa fulani you are they are given time is it japan china or japan somewhere there i've heard that that's what they do they have time they take a nap during this from this hour to this hour everybody is supposed to take a nap hiyo ni wakati wa kupumzika na ni sheria imewekwa kwa sababu wanajua if you will be productive you have you need to have time to rest amen so even for us even in life we need to have time to rest now let's just break that definition about mesema ya focus tumesema ni kwamba you direct your attention and energy and effort to something in the book of previous 314 paul anasema ya kwamba i press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of god in christ jesus this is paul speaking to previous anasema ya kwamba i press i press on towards meaning kuna lengo fulani kuna mahali ambapo analenga anasema ya kwamba i press on towards the goal to win the prize you cannot just win a prize seated for you to win a prize it has to you, you you have to be be very careful on whatever you are doing at that particular time if you are let's say at the authority na unataka ku win let's say 100 meters ama 1500 Hawezi kukaa tu kwa kiti, uangaliange wengine tu wakienda kufanya practice, 
alafu siku ya kwenda kukimbia ndio sasa unaamka you will never make it you will have burnout lakini you need to practice kwa hivyo kwa anasema ya kwamba i press i press i press on towards the goal to win the prize which god called me even once in christ jesus then in the book of proverbs proverbs 4:12 4:25 sorry 4:25 inasema let your eyes look directly ahead and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you let your eyes look directly ahead and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you it means that you have this is somebody who is focused i believe majority of us we have seen uh the real part when they want to ant an antrop unakuta wanyama wako wengi antrop ni wengi lakini shita kama anataka kushika moja atapita moja ikiwa hapa na ameipita na atakibiza ile tu iko mbele yake kwa sababu gani kuna ile ambayo ameem awezi kushughulikia huyu kwa hapa ataenda afuatane na yule ambaye alikuwa ako na haja na yeye meaning ya kwamba focus yake iko on a particular kasera or antrop sio wote kwa sababu ukishika pande hii ushike pande hii you lose all everything you remember what Paul, uh, pastor john was teaching us about spreading what too thin yeah you, when you spread too thin ya kwamba uko hapa uko hapa mimi na kuanga hapa na kuanga hapa kuna yale ambayo malengo ambayo utaweza kuyatimiza kwa sababu hautakuwa utapea uh, nafasi kile ambacho kiko ndani yako kikaweza grow umeanza kuimbaji ukifika katikati unasema ah nasikia hiyo ni kama mimi si kuita kuimba wacha nirudi kwa labda kwa eh kwa kwa washari unakokuja mahali pale unakaa ah mimi nilikuwa nimeitwa nikaweza kufundisha watoto unaanza kufundisha watoto ah ah mimi si kuwa nimeitwa kufundisha yani hauna lengo hauna hauna mwelekeo kuna kitu ambacho kinakosekana kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuwa na wakati jipe wakati ili ukaweze kuimarisha kile kipawa ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako so the other thing is that we have seen that focus we foc- when we are doing focusing we try to minimize to minimize distractions na biblia inasema in the book of hebrews 12 verse 2 inasema i therefore since we are surrounded by such great crowd of witness let us draw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us learn with perseverance the race marked out for us that means we are fixing our eyes unto jesus the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith so as we learn this lace that god has given us we need to fix our eyes in unto christ yeye ndiye anaweza anaweza kutuwezesha ili tukaweze kupata kuvuka ama kumalisia vizuri ndio tuweze kuwa na ushindi katika hii safari ambayo tuko nayo ya Ukristo macho yetu lazima yawe fixed on Jesus kwa sababu if we try to look at other things that are surrounding us we will lose the focus we will lose where are we heading mambo yale ambayo yako katika ulimwengu saa hii ni mengi sana na tutajipata wengine labda tumeenda huko Shakawara na tumejipata ya kwamba tumepata ndini zingine ambazo hasifai. Kwa hivyo tunastahili we need to put our focus and look straight to Jesus. Now Proverbs 4 verse 27 asema do not turn to the right nor to the left. Turn your foot from evil. Do not turn to the right nor to the left. Turn your foot to the evil so 
what is it that we are emphasizing on this? Ni kwamba kuna mahali katika hizo vifungu zote tumesoma utakuta ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho tunaambiwa fix your eyes Ulianza safari wacha kuanza kusema ya kwamba hapa si kuwa nimeitwa Siku ya leo pastor alituambia kwamba we are having uh, the business to pray what we do and i believe majority of us whatever we do we like it we like doing it kwa hivyo tutaona wale ambao watatuletea vitu ambazo wanausa wale ambao wanatupatia services because even services you sell services if you come to me i will sell services that i have si ndio si ndio so wewe ambaye ukiwa ni mwalimu pia those are services mrs kambi those are services that's what you can sell to us so usiseme ya kwamba huna kitu ya kuuza uko nacho ya yeah? uko nacho mary ile nduka ikuje hapa iame ikuje pande hii tunataka kununua na naamini tumekuja tukiwa tumejiprepea kununua so when we take even our children to school we take them to school to learn so that they can be able to progress in life i like the new system how it is approaching life hapo awali ulikuwa unaenda kusoma vitu ambazo asifai unakuta umesoma science ambayo inakwambia grasshopper has eight legs now you ask yourself where will i be able to use this in life eh? unaambiwa chemistry inakwambia sijui when you mix this and this it will give now there are things that you, some another tree yule ambaye ni mkimbiaji yeye ukimwambia mambo ya chemicals anashiba sasa huyu ananiambia nini ndio unapata ametoka pale akiwa na kibogo zero kwa sababu gani hiyo sio area yake but with the new current the current uh, system about to come it is targeting the talent what a child can be able to do which is very important wewe mtoto mtoto wako una, unajua tumepandisha tume, tumebadika majina kwa watoto wetu wewe ulienda pale wewe kichwa yako ni kama sijui nini unaambiwa kichwa sijui na kaa kama um, uli, kuna mzazi ambaye nilisikia alisema alipeleka ngombe kwa shule akarudisha yeah shule huyo mtoto sio ngombe Mungu alikupatia mtoto kwa hivyo tuache kuita watoto nini ngombe ni kwamba there are areas that we don't when we, we we don't know what that child can be able to do there are people who are not class a jimmy yako wapi jimmy jimmy oh amenda those are the people that we can say jimmy unajua yeye from wakati alikuwa mdogo mpaka alipomaliza alikuwa top pale lakini mweke na mwingine utakuta they are different they are completely different na yeye pia ukimweka kwa tuseme kama ni music kimwambia aimbe utachukua munda ndio uweze kujua kama kuna wimbo ambao utakutuka mahali pale yeah because that is not this area so we have to appreciate what god has given us amen we have to appreciate our children what god, what our children can be able to do wacha kuita mtoto ngombe hapana huyo sio ngombe mungu alikupatia ni mtoto ni baraka it's a gift from god amen So let's help our children to cultivate the skills and the the, 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 the talents and the the, the, the the gift that God has given them in the light way. When we identify them at the light time, we help those children to grow those talents and those gifts and they can be good when they go through that a process. Amen. Uh, now I want us to just go through uh, how can we be able to focus how can we be able to focus Actually when I was trying to write this I was asking myself what are the areas that in the main flow focusing What is it that he does me from focusing? Ni distractions gani ambazo huwa zinakuja katika maisha 
ambazo huwa zinamfanya nikaweze kuruhusu focus amen kitu ambacho nilikuwa nakiuliza ni ni kitu gani ambacho huwa kinanifanya katika maisha yangu ni kitu gani huwa kinanifanya na kosa kuwa na focus na hizo ndio vitu ambazo ningetaka labda tukaangalia kwa dakika chache tu ili tukaweze kujua in life we need each other mwambie mwenzako anakuhitaji yeah in life we need each other hakuna yule ambaye anaweza simama aseme ya kwamba mimi peke yangu najiweza mimi sitaki usaindisi wa mtu yeyote na ndipo za unasikia nimemuita nini msaindisi kwa sababu namhitaji katika maisha yangu kuna mahali ambapo siwezi kuf... kuna vitu ambazo siwezi fanya yeye yeah, ananisaidia kwa hivyo ni msaidizi wangu so we need each other in this life and in the book of proverbs 27:17 nasema as iron sharpens iron so is one person sharpens the other as iron sharpens the iron mara nyingi kuna vitu ambazo huwa tunaambiwa kutoka hata kwa hii madhabahu tunaambiwa ya kwamba katika maisha haya lakini unakuta mtu kwa sababu ya kugaili anajipata amaingia mahali mbaya na baadaye anakuja kuinua mkono anasema hii nisaidie lakini aliambiwa ya kwanza lakini akagaili na baadaye ikaja ikamuumiza so you need the other person who will sharpen you the person who will give you encouragement the person who will warn you we you need one another hii maisha hatuwezi kutembea peke yako na useme ya kwamba nitamalizia vizuri lazima tuwe tushikane mkono na tuweze kutembea pamoja ili tukaweze kumalizia vizuri so don't ignore don't ignore relationships please mwambie mwenzako na kuhitaji amen huyo mtu unamhitaji by the way you never know who can help you sometimes you may find yourself mahali ambapo mtoto mtoto ndiye atakusaidia kitu ambacho wewe ungeweza kufanya mtoto mdogo ndiye anakusaidia you remember naman naman alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na 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 akba yake ya ki, kijeshi ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anaheshimika kwao tuseme ni kama sasa uh, eh, ni nani hamlim jeshi mkuu wa washa president yule ambaye ako chini ya president yule ambaye anasimamia jeshi si mnamjua huyo sasa ju uh, eh, naman alikuwa mtu kama huyo na kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimwendelekea ni kwamba alikuwa na ukoma na akaambiwa katika nchi ya Israel kuna mtu ambaye kuna nabii ambaye anaweza kuuponya na tunamuona namba ni akitoka katika nchi yao akienda katika nchi ya Israel kuenda kumuona nabii ambaye atamponya lakini alipofika mahali pale Elisha alimwambia alitumana akaambia Geasi enda muambie haende afanye nini aoge katika Jordan. Hii habari nama nalipata kutoka kwa nani? Msichana mjakasi. Yule ambaye watu wengi huwa nadharau. Huyo ndiye alimwambia. Alimwambia katika nchi ya Israeli kuna mfalme, kuna mtu, kuna nabii wa Mungu ambaye akikuombea anaweza kuponya huu ukoma. Na tunaona ya kwamba Naman e, mara ya kwanza alikuwa ameanza kugairi kwa sababu alikuwa anaangalia hali yake anashindwa nimepita mito ngapi kabla nifike hapa Mbona si kujirusha kwa ile ya pale si ningepona tu kama ni hivyo ilikuwa Lakini akaambiwa ya kwamba kama amekuambia wewe ingia ndani ya maji ingia tu You, there is nothing that you are going to lose. 
na tunaona ya kwamba baada ya kufanyiwa hilo tunaambia kwamba mwili wake ulikuwa kama ya mtoto so don't ignore that person don't ignore that person huyo mtu ambaye labda huo unaona afai katika maisha yako labda huyo ndiye anaweza kusaidia wengi wetu labda kuna mahali tunaweza kuwa tunafanya kazi unakuta yule askari anakuanga pale kwa mlango hata salamu hakuna hata ni afungue mlango afunge wewe uingie na hiyo ishe au unange kama kuna mtu wako hapo ni kama hiyo gate ni automatic inajifunguanga inajifunga wewe unapita you need that person because you never know one day huyo mtu anaweza kuwa mtu ambaye atakuja kukuokoa kutoka mahali ambapo hakuna mtu mwingine angeweza kukuokoa amen kwa hivyo don't ignore relationships with one another the other area is contentment contentment the book of Cor- uh, previous 411 asema i have learned to be contented with whatever circumstances Paul anasema he has learned to be contented sometimes you know when you want these things in life unajipata ya kwamba kwa sababu focus yako haiko kwa kitu fulani unajipata uko pande hii na pande hii you are going to lose and because if you are contented with what god has given you you can be able to work on that and it can be able to be a good gift that can propel you to other greater things amen so you need to be contented with what god has given you na uese tunabiwa kwamba this principle reminds us that contentment is a gratitude that can help to mitigate and to uh, to mitigate the drive for excessive focus on achievement and perfection so we need to be contented tanya moyo tosheka ambia moyo gusa kifua yako lo yangu tosheka tu yeah tosheka mara nyingi huwa tunajipata tumepata na vidoda vya tumbo kwa sababu ya kutosheka tosheka unataka na tumeona fulani anaendesha gari na mimi nataka so wewe ulalangi kila usiku unalala kuota ukiwa vile utaweza kupata gari umeona fulani labda amepata kanyumba kake amenunua kanyumba na wewe pia unataka kufika mahali pale life in this life there is kuna mutaratara kuna steps yeah na lazima tupitie hii mutaratara mpaka tufike mahali ambapo tunahitajika kufika hiyo mutaratara yule ambaye haja elewa ukuje pandai nitakuelezea but that's how life is step by step yeah step by step and we will be able to reach there so contentment is very important and the other thing is that humility humility proverbs 16 verse 18 nasema pride goes before destruction a haughty spirit before a fall so you need to recognize that you are not infallible and that being over focused can sometimes lead to arrogance stay humble and open to correction and change so don't be arrogant don't be arrogant stay open for correction ukiambiwa hiki sio kizuri ama hii njia sio mzuri fikiria juu yake wacha kuona kama huyu ambaye anakuambia anakuchukia ama akupendi mshawisikia mtu anasema najua hata ule ujimbo ulikuwa ni yangu alikuwa ni mimi alikuwa anaongelea jameni na kujuaje mimi sikujui sijui maisha yako labda tumekutana hapa i'm just saying what the spirit of god is saying so useme ni mimi nakuonea tafadhali sikuonei nakupenda mwambie mwenzako anakupenda amen so be open to correction be open to be collected kwa sababu katika hii maisha kama vile tumesema ni kwamba aujui kila kitu kuna kile ambacho mwenzako anaweza kuwa anajua na wewe ukijui so you need that person so that you can be able to learn more the other area that is very important 
for us, even as we do focusing, is adaptability. Adaptability, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, and 7. There is time for everything. The seasons in life. The seasons in life. Every activity and the heavens, there is a season. The, the principle, this principle teaches us that life is filled with different seasons and it is important to adapt to changing circumstances. Like now, tunasema kila moja we tunajua, tukiamuka, tunalala, tukisema ruto. Unajua maishi imekua ngumu, tafadhali, teremusha sukari, unga imepanda, tafuta mafuta ya gari, imepanda. Ya, ekonome kila kitu imepanda. And it's not about ruto. Tafadhali. Tumtua kwa mdomo. Ya, tumtua kwa mdomo. Tu ni kiongozi wetu. Na bibiri na tuambia kwamba tuombe kiongozi wetu. Kiri ambacho tu tunayesa fanya wakati huu ni kuomba ya kwamba mungu ampatie kima. Ya kwamba kile ambacho angetaka kufanya kikawese huyu ufanyika. Kwa sababu tunajua kuna yale malengu ambao wakonae. Kuna wandi ambao tunakanga tukisema tutafanya, tutajenga. Wacha kutumia hiyo. Mwachie yule ambayo anaitumia kwa wakati wake. Wewe muombe. Omba mungu ya kwamba God, this is our leader. This is our president. God give him wisdom so that he can be able to lead us in the right way. Amen? So, we need to know the seasons that we are in. Today, unaweza kuwa uko kwa shimo. Kesho, autakaa pale. Things can change. Yeah? Ondinga? Mahali uko siku ya leo. Kesho, unaweza jipata wewe watu wanakupigia saruti. Kwa sababu, mungu di anajua njia sako. Amen? So, we need to know seasons. Mahali uko, it will never last. Kama ni kitu ambacho unasikia ya kwamba akifai katika maisha yako, it will never last. It will come to change. Amen? And the other important uh, uh, area ni seeking God's guidance. Seeking God's guidance. Proverbs 3.5 3, 5, to verse 6, in Asema, trust in the Lord with all your heart and, la- and lean not on your own understanding. You know your ways submit to him and will make your path straight. Amen? Trust in the Lord. When you are focused on your goals, remember to seek God guidance and wisdom. Usiseme ya kwamba mimi ni mzomi na mejua kila kitu kwa hivyo sitaji mambo ingine. You need the guidance of God. You need the guidance of God. And as we come to the close of this, uh, the other point is purpose and meaning. Purpose and meaning. Colossians 3.17 Asema And whatever you do, whether in one or deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Uh, through him. So ensure that your focus aligns with the greater sense of a purpose and meaning in life. Ensure that your focus aligns with the greater purpose and meaning in life. And the last one, overcome, overcoming anxiety. Overcoming anxiety. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 in Asema, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Amen? So, these are the points which are very, very important for us to be focused. And for me, I was just looking at those areas. Nilikuwa naangalia hizo pengele ambazo sinaweza kunisuia nisikawese kuwa mtu ambaye ana kuna mahali ambapo nimebelenga shabaha yangu mahali fulani. Kama kuna kitu ambacho naomba katika maisha yangu ni kwamba chochote kile nitafanya ikisije ikawa ni ya bule. Aita fasaha matunda yoyote. Nikifanya jambo fulani nifanye nikiwa najua ya kwamba litaweza kuwa ni jambo ambalo litaweza kusama tunda na litaweza 
kuwa na impact katika maisha yangu na hata wale watu ambao niko karibu na wao. Kwa hivyo I believe all of us there are gifts God has given us. As we start and say there are gifts that God has given us. There are talents that we can be able to work on. Kwa hivyo kama unajua mahali ama jambo ambalo Mungu ameweka ndani yako na ungetaka kulifanyia kazi tafadhali angalia hizo vipengele jiulize ni njia gani ambayo naweza kuwa inanisuia nisikawese kuwa focus kwa kile kitu ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yangu because you may find that you are lacking or you are just dragging simply because your focus ime ime ime, ime kuwa, aifuatili auko focus kwa kile ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako umeenda kwa mambo mengine ambayo ni tofauti kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu ningetaka kumalizia mahali pale nikiomba kila mmoja wetu tujiulize hilo swali tujiulize hilo swali am i focused to the things that god has called me am i focused how is my focus how is my focus hayo mambo ambayo tumesema kuna mahali ambapo unaweza iangalia useme ya kwamba labda hapa ndio nimekosea labda hapa ndio siendangi haiendi siendi sawa sawa na kile ambacho Mungu akitaka nikaweza kufanya katika maisha yangu na kwa hayo machache ama mengi wanawabariki and god bless you pastor karibu Let's, let's stand as we as we finish. Uh, the Bible says we fix our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. If you want to stay focused, fix your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Because he is the way. The Bible says, I am the way the truth, and the life. Amen. So if we focus on him, we will not be lost. Because he is what? The way, the truth, and the life. Have we learned something? To, just close your eyes and let's focus on Christ. My life, maybe I've lost focus. Some things come and they, you know, they, they, they change us. Not to wake a candle. You know, discouragements come. Tunaanza kuangalia our circumstances. I'm encouraged by this word that says, those who look up to him are radiant. Amen? And their faces are never covered with shame. Amen? Those who look up unto him, not unto others, but unto the Lord. Funga macho yako. And if you can lift up your hands, inuwa mikono yake kwa kebuana, tuambie buwana. Uka tusaidie na uka tuwezeshe. Ya kwamba taweka macho yetu kwako. I will fix my eyes on you, Jesus. What have you told me to do? What have you called me to do? What talent have you placed in my life? Have I been complaining? Many times you and me will complain because we are looking at people. Yuluko na tarajia mtu watufanyia hii. Haa kufanya. Tukweka macho yetu kwa wake buwana. Yes. Um. Yes, let's focus our eyes on Jesus as we call upon. Speak to the Lord. Open your mouth and let's speak to the Lord. Oh Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May you help us, our God, that we will fix our eyes on you in whatever we do, in whatever we do in our day-to-day lives, Lord, in the ministry, in the families we are in, in the business we are in, in the in the places of work where we are. Father, I pray that you may help us, our God, that we shall fix our eyes on you. You who is the author and the finisher, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Lord, we acknowledge that our faith is not perfect, but we need you, Lord, to perfect it. What we have received is not perfect, but Lord, we are asking that you may perfect it, Lord, because you are at work. You are at work in our lives, our 
our Father. You are at work in our lives, our God. Lord, I pray that you may help each one of us, our Father. The gifts that you are given, the talents you love, our God, they need perfecting. Father, I pray that you will help us, our God. The Lord Almighty shall our hand, our, we, shall, we shall put our focus on you, Lord, that you may perfect that which, Lord, you have started in our lives, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We acknowledge, Lord, what we have, where we are in our lives, Lord, is not perfect. Our families are not perfect. Our ministries are not perfect. But, Lord, we are looking up unto you, who is the author and the perfecter, the author and the finisher, our God. And, Lord, I pray that you may perfect that which concerns our lives, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, our eyes on you, Lord. Our eyes are on you, Lord. There are times we have been discouraged. There are times, Lord, we have been disappointed. But, Lord Almighty, we look up unto you that our faces will not be covered with shame, but they shall be radiant, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we worship you. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's look up unto the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. Our eyes, Lord, look up unto you. We are looking up unto you, Lord, that you may perfect, that you may continue, Lord, to perfect that which, Lord, you have started in our lives, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we exhort you. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you adoration, our God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our God. We thank you, Father, for, Lord, the word that you have spoken unto us. And, Lord, the reminder from your word, you are the author. You are the finisher, the perfecter of our faith. And, Lord, we can only place our lives in your hands. Our ministry is, Lord, in your hands, our God. The talents that gives your place in us, our Father, we can only release them unto you, Lord, that you may perfect them. Where, Lord, we have been discouraged by one thing or other, things that didn't work out as we expected. Father, I pray the Lord, you will help us, our Father. Grant us, Lord, hearts that will be patient, O God. For, Lord, you are at work. You are at work. You are at work. Release our faith to you in the name of Jesus. We worship you. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. We exhort you. We honor you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Let's celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate the Lord to Napo, to Napo, Malaysia. And just before we close, maybe you are with us and you are not born again. Because Jesus cannot perfect that which he has not started. Are you with us and you are not born again? Are you with us and you are not born again? Are you with us and you are not born again? Are you with us and you are not born again? Amen. Amen. And may the Lord continue to perfect that which he has started. Amen. As you are patient with other people, please let me urge you, be patient with yourself. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'll be patient with myself. Because, because I am work in progress. Okay, I'll be patient with myself. Because I am work in progress. Amen. 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 Don't remain in the same place. Move. Let's see. Let's see progress. Let's see to only progress. But I'm encouraging you this day. Be patient with yourself. Amen. That way, then you can be patient with others. In the book of Hebrews, the Bible says Jesus was made like his brethren. Amen. So that he becomes a merciful high priest. Are we together? Amen. Jesus was made like his brethren, like you and me. 
so that anapoenda kwa baba anatuombea kwa sababu i have been there and i know hallelujah amen hallelujah so i'm encouraging you we are working in progress be patient with yourself so that you can be patient with others we may be seated in the lord's presence